What's Bubba Gum Poppin'? <laughs> hey y'all, what's T? Welcome to Rain So Banji. If you are new to my channel, I ask that you subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified when your Banji will post another VEO. And if you've been here before, girl, what's up? Y'all, today I'm doing a seafood mukbang for y'all. Of course, I always have to let y'all know the camera will fade in and out into the food and into my face. But for right now, y'all, get into the food. That's all I want y'all to do. Get into the food. I have snow crab legs, Argentine shrimp, corn, potato, egg, and I ran out of sausage, so I have turkey tails in there. And I am sipping on some water, purified, of course, because that's my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and say grace, and we're gonna get started. Amen. Okay, let me get my trash ready. That's so not trash. <laughs> <laughs> all right <clears throat> yeah i'm so hungry this is my first meal of the day i don't even know what to go for so i'm gonna just go for a potato y'all mm. mm. can't go wrong with smoked turkey tails they hit every time y'all so a uh, good potato. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'm so hungry. I will say though, this is definitely worth it. But I hope y'all having an amazing day today. Happy Thursday. It's Friday Eve. <clears throat> I made my sauce just a little spicy today than normal. And y'all, do y'all like Argentine shrimp? They sometimes taste a little too alive. <laughs> okay. That one that I just ate, that was okay. But the one I had earlier, I don't know, she was done all the way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is so good. Um, it's nothing like sitting at home and having a home cooked meal. If y'all been keeping up with Vlogtober, Y'all know I've been eating out a lot. I can't even tell you. Mm. No, I take that back. I just like I said, I can't even tell you the last time I cooked. The last time I cooked was Sunday. I made some jambalaya, but. But bo damn. I can't even tell you. I hope y'all can see what's on my plate. I don't know if the light too bright or not. Can y'all see? Y'all can see what that is, right? Okay. Oh. I hear people say all the time, cooking is one of those lifelong skills. I hear other people say, you lose it if you don't use it. So, I'm a little scared, cuz. Yeah, I know I be having clients. People be wanting me to cook for them, cater sometimes. And I can't lose it. Because <laughs> if I lose the talent, I lose the coin. And that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Um, somebody inboxed me on Instagram. I'm sure they didn't mean any harm. I'm sure they didn't mean any harm by what they said. But 
But I had to set the record straight so they'll know. Ooh. And most of all, so they'll know that they don't know me like that. <laughs> so the lady, she inboxed me on Instagram. It really just seemed like she was upset at the fact that, I, that I'm not selling drip sauce anymore. If you are kind of new to my channel and haven't been following me since my old channel, I was a mukbanger and I had my own sauce out. The sauce is so good. For all the people that, for all the people that ordered drip sauce, let the besties know it was on. <laughs> I love, I love that sauce. But anyway, when I stopped selling it, a lot of people was, you know, very disappointed. But they expressed how they felt. Kept it cute. Kept it moving. Right? Then you have others that still stop in my inbox and express how they feel two years later. Okay? So there's one lady, she came in my inbox. I can't remember what it said verbatim. <clears throat> and my phone is on the charger on the other side of the room. But when something like the Lord will not bless you if you don't fulfill your passion. Your passion is cooking. That's something that you always want to do. You need to pursue yourself as a chef. And um, continue to cook and do the sauce and blah, blah, blah. Boom. Now, when I read it, I get what she was saying. But, sis, you don't know me. You don't know what my passion is, obviously. Because everybody that do know me know that I have a passion in entertainment. Always have. <clears throat> I actually want to be a pop singer and a musician. Music and entertainment has always been my passion. Cooking was my form of survival. Oh, you want to know why? I'm glad you asked. Story time. These are Argentine shrimp. They're pretty big, too. When I was younger, <clears throat> and my parents used to leave me with my siblings. Now my y'all, I'm the eighth out of nine. There's always a house full. And in my opinion, growing up with a house full of siblings, It could cross over into like jealousy, one sibling get more attention than the other, et cetera, et cetera. That's just my opinion, right? So when I was younger, some, not all, of my older siblings, Loki tortured me. Just Loki. Whenever my parents leave and say, okay, we'll be gone taking care of bills. We're running errands. There's Syria in them. 
sandwiches, hot dogs, you know, y'all eat that for breakfast and lunch until we come back to cook dinner type deal. When I was younger, with my siblings, that kitchen was forbidden. Stay out of the kitchen. But I'm hungry. It doesn't matter. Stay out of the kitchen type deal, right? Yeah, mind you, this was a long time ago. So everything is forgiven. We talked about it. Everything is forgiven. So don't be in the comments with the hate stuff, okay? One day, my siblings ate all the hot dogs, all the sandwiches, and I had nothing, right? Look at that. That is so big. Now, before this specific day, I used to sit there whenever I was hungry and watch the Food Network, and I'd sit there and I would cry, just be hungry, but... I will also write down these recipes, right? I was so young. I used to write down these recipes. And one day, they ate all the sandwiches, they ate all the hot dogs, went in the room, did whatever. I went in that kitchen and I started cooking. By the time the food was almost done, my parents came home, which was surprising. They wasn't upset. They were stunned. Like, what's going on? Why are you in this kitchen cooking? The siblings, they probably got in trouble for not monitoring me. But I was in there cooking. I cooked some chicken. I ain't know nothing about seasoning them. I put a little barbecue sauce on that hole. <laughs> and I had to eat it. And that's pretty much how it all started. And then ever since then, I used to ask my parents for permission. If I can go in there and cook, what you want to cook? Anything. Go in the kitchen, find my protein. <clears throat> find the stuff in the refrigerator to cook with it, like vegetables. Any type of um, ooh, herbs that we had. Whether it was good or nasty, I had to eat it. And then I ended up starting to cook with my mom. And that's kind of how the cooking thing went. It was it was fun. You know what I'm saying? And after I'm finished cooking, I was dying for people to try the food. And I would sit down and watch them enjoy it. And they'll make me so happy to see that they enjoy the food. So it kind of stuck with me, you know? And I just carried it on to now. This cooking shit. It's fun to me. It's a hobby. So I say that aside. Ma'am, just saying, I miss the sauce and want you to bring it back. Don't try to sit him and become a apostle and prophesy over my life uh, you have no clue what you're talking about just say the sauce is good I miss it I want it back the church trying to bully me <laughs> and scare me to make the sauce I low key want to bring it back though <laughs> I'm not going to lie but I would like to wait. I, I see that everybody love it. 
I had no negative reviews on it at all. I feel like I need to put a lot of money into bringing it back. Production wise. <clears throat> Continue to have the right people in my corner. Continue to have you guys as my support system. My family. It'll come back. And it'll be perfect timing. But child, people a trip. They'll try to scare you and bully you and to do something that they want. <clears throat> but you can't bully me, sugar. <laughs> They did enough of that growing up. You cannot bully me into doing something that you want me to do for you. That was a little aggravating though. <laughs> that aggravated me. But child, if y'all see the BS I be seeing in my DMs. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah. I'm full. Oh, I'm full, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure that you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when your bench will post another video. I love y'all and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.